Sibelius gives you a large number of options when it comes to exporting your score. Obviously, if you just want to save it, you would go to the File tab and then Save or Save As, or you could use the wee Save icon up there or the keyboard shortcut Control S. That's fine. But you have in here an Export tab. And this lets you export in a variety of different formats and different ways. I'm going to go through each of these one at a time just to explain some of the options in here. We're just going to start with the audio one. This is if you want to create um, an MP3 or a WAV file of your score. So you can then put it on a CD or you can send it to someone as an audio file. And you have to be using one of the, the audio sounds. You can't use general MIDI for this. It has to be usually some early seven sounds as I want to use. You can determine where it starts, what you're going to call it, what file name it's going to be, and then you click export to the bottom. Fairly straightforward. You can export a video of your score, which basically will be a video of the, sc of the score playing back. Again, you want to use one of the audio configurations. Over here, you can determine what resolution it's going to be at. Now, this is a four and a half minute score. And the fastest option there is going to create a file of 107 megabytes. If I went to full HD, 1080p, it's 245 megabytes. So be careful how you use this. It's going to depend really on what you're going to do with the video once you're finished with it. Again, you, the options include things like do you want to uh, do a video of the score or individual staves? And if so, which staves do you want to use? That's up to yourself. What are you going to call it? Where are you going to put it? Hit export. Job done. The PDF option gives you a variety of options for creating a PDF directly from your score. Either you can create a PDF of the score on its own, score in all the parts, either as a single file or as a separate file. All the parts only without the score, again, separate files or a single file. Or you can select individual parts, and you would do that by using the control key to highlight the ones you want, like so. Control click. Again, separate files or as a single file. These things here are called wildcards, and what they do are determine what is going to appear in the file name. So, for example, percent %f will give you the score file name. If I decided to use percent %t instead, it would give me the title of the score, as opposed to the file name. I may have called the file name My Higher Music Composition, but I've called the score title something a bit more provocative or something a bit more evocative, like... Oh, I don't know, um, midnight on the beach, whatever. Your options are there, and then percent %p will give you the part name. You have these other options again. And again, tell it where you want to put it, hit export, and it does it for you. The graphics exporting, you can export it as an image in a variety of different formats. And you can decide, I'm going to export all pages. This is a 16-page score, so I'm going to do all 16 pages, or... Which ones am I going to do? You can select the range from there. Various options about the graphics that you're going to use. Again, file name, where you're going to put it. It gives you an option to create a subfolder as well. So if you put it inside a folder, you can create a separate folder with just the graphics in there, for example. Avid Scotch is Sibelius's um, iPad app, which lets you view and listen to your Sibelius files. And this option here to export it will optimize the score for that device. Obviously it's got a smaller page so it's going to change the way the score is laying out specifically to fit onto that page. You would then export it from there and you can then transfer it onto your iPad either using iTunes or if you do it via the cloud like Dropbox or Copy.com or something like that. You can create a web page from your score and if you do this option you can select what type of look you want it to have, and it will create um, your own your score. Okay, a, a version of your score, the .sib file, along with an HTML page, and you can then upload both of those to your website, so that people who don't have Sibelius can then see and listen to your score. They would do that via via um, a web plugin, a browser plugin called Scorch, which is free and quick to download. Um, but one thing to be aware of is this option here to allow printing and saving. If you click this, then a print button and a save button appear at the top of your score, and people can then 
download your score and they can then edit it and they can do what they want with it. If that's what you want them to do, that's fine. If you prefer to keep it so they can only see it, then you would keep that unticked. Music XML is a universal format for transferring music scores between different types of software. So for example, if you want to send a score to um, a colleague or a friend who doesn't use Sibelius, uses a different type of uh, music notation software, then you would use Music XML. If you really have to, you can send a MIDI file. Um, again, you can choose your options from there, what um, sound set you're going to use. Um, various options there and export it and away you go. Previous versions, let's export to a previous version of Sibelius. So if you're sending a file to someone who's using Sibelius 5 or Sibelius 6, you would use this option. We've also got the option to send to the various student versions, Sibelius 1st, right the way back to Sibelius 2. The manuscript paper, the last one here, will let you add a template based on your score to the list that appear when you create a new score. If you remember, if I go to the new tab for a second, on the quick start menu, this list here, if you export your manuscript paper, it will add it to this list and you can choose the category that it appears in, or you can create your own category as I've done here to create that one there. This is all appears in the File tab, File Export, various different ways you can export your file from Sibelius.